you riding on bikes Stay in your own lane and when you see me in the streets Say what's up, gang For the phone with the top dog, no block call Can I help? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. I didn't, I didn't even ring the doorbell or anything. Yeah. No, you can take that off. It says no soliciting. Oh, I'm not soliciting. I'm just, um, well, I'm offering you a thousand dollars, and and that's only if you you guys decide to install a PV system on your roof to save electricity, um, save money on electricity. Uh, no, thank you. you Round two, fight. Do you gentlemen know who I am? Don't you fucking know who I am? <laughs> I am fucking John's house. Internet celebrity extraordinaire. <laughs> you do not talk to me like that. No idea. If you look up Ontario safety standards on YouTube, you'll see me. Okay. <laughs> I know that your company For sure. is not allowed to do this. Oh, so actually, uh, I know exactly what legislation you're talking mm -hmm. about. Uh, that would be like selling uh, HVAC products, right? <laughs> Uh, we're not actually trying to sell anything. All we do is book appointments for people who still have like a stage one thermostat. Okay. Uh, the older programmable manual models. Mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely know what you're talking no, about. No, I know you're exactly what you guys are talking about. Yeah. Uh, and and you, okay, if you know the legislation off by heart. Not by heart, but uh, we do have it in our binder, which is mm -hmm. the one that you can't sell HVAC products. HVAC products, yes, okay. Absolutely. So no like filters and stuff like that too. Uh, that's no. not HVAC though. Carbon filters? That's not what we're selling. We're no, I know. Smart home I know. Well, that's what smart Ontario safety products. standards used to. Yeah, so. they, they, they yeah, yeah. Have, So you guys both them. know that this is a fucking scam. Yeah. Yeah. No, not exactly. Yeah. So, way, you know you take advantage like, of people who no, don't Ontario, understand what you guys are saying. So you're this, talking about Ontario safety standards, right? <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, the scam? Yeah. yeah. We're not with Ontario. We're Canadian safety standards. Which, <laughs> it, it works differently. Okay. I know exactly Same what company. you're talking about. I heard of how they used to work. Uh, we don't do. I'm sure if I look it up. Taxes yeah, I'm sure. Like that. Uh, I have no idea about any of that. All we do is if you still have a stage one thermostat, like I said, yep. uh, we book appointments for all homeowners, not tenants. Are you resellers of those stage two thermostats, oh. or or do you directly sell from those uh, those original those companies, Echo B and Nest? I don't know you exactly. That would be something you probably have to ask, like what my employer. Like, yep. I'm not exactly sure if you picked it up. Uh, and like quantities from the company itself i'm not exactly sure how that goes yeah but yeah we actually do give out free smart thermostats if you have high efficiency up uh, like free high free smart, for smart thermostats yeah, you have the option to go with like an eco b or yeah. an s or anything like that through through a monthly monthly charge no monthly charge no. for a thermostat free. Again, i don't know if you're talking about ontario safety yeah standards. yeah like maybe okay because I, I have heard because we come up and they're like oh you're from ontario safety standards yeah no, we're not from ontario I heard that a couple things were going wrong with Ontario safety standards. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that now. Like I said, we are Canadian safety standards. Yeah. So some sketchy stuff was going on back then. It's not going on anymore. Okay. I know. I I have heard this before. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right. Well, we've seen Ontario safety standards a couple times. Like, don't. I know you're familiar, but. Okay. Pretty sure that. Do you guys know anything about your own company? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. How long have How long has your company been around? A lot longer than we've been around with the company. I think about. Two, three years, maybe? Two, three years? Maybe two, three years. I've no... Okay. Like, Canadian safety standards, I think, yeah. about two years. Two, mm -hmm. three years, yeah. I have no idea. Sounds sketchy as shit, guys. Okay, like I said, I uh, definitely know where you're coming from. It, okay. it is definitely a gray area, but there is, like I said, a legislation where you're not allowed to sell Either. HVAC products. We don't sell any HVAC products, so we just make sure everybody has their high-efficiency update on smart home service products like thermostats. Well, thermostats part of HVAC, no, so you know. No, it actually would not be a, a thermostat. Yeah. Yeah. If you actually look it up, I already did myself. But okay. I, I did see the video. Yes, I did see the video. Okay. I, yeah. I kind of figured out. I know. All right. Well, the, uh, I'm, I'm not interested, gentlemen. No, no, for sure. Okay. Sounds good. Have a great day. You yeah, as well. Too. And, I mean, I don't, uh, if, if what you're saying is, oh, well, we just set this up, 
Think about what no, you we, do. We book appointments, right? Uh, we make sure we. It made no sense. Yeah. It made no sense. Do a quick assessment that you have high faith. Yeah, wh where's the money coming? Um, if you're going door to door, there's obviously money behind it. Absolutely. Right? For sure. So what's the money behind it? There's a there's a monthly fee. There's got to be. No, no monthly it's a fee. Government funded program. Exactly. So when we book an appointment, we let all homeowners know that we're we're doing an assessment, right? Yep. Uh, we just have to make sure you have a high efficiency, like high efficiency, so that it's compatible for the update, right? We're we're not going to install something that's not going to work with your heating system. Okay. Uh, so that's basically the what you would call like uh, the catch, right? <laughs> yep. So we just make sure you have high efficient uh, equipment, and if you don't. Well, then you would be eligible for the update at no cost. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we don't try to sell it on them or anything like that. We just tell them they're not eligible for the update. Okay. If you do have a high efficiency, th this is all in the appointment. When you make the appointment online, it, there, it has a fine print that you everybody reads it right there. You actually check mark two things that are saying that we're coming by to do an assessment to make sure you have high efficiency product. Uh, so all the homeowners are knowing that uh, yeah. it's not a guaranteed update. I'm worried about your phrasing of make sure they have high efficiency. You're, yeah, like you're you trying to provide a service, mm -hmm. but you're, you're demonstrating it in a way that seems like we're here because we're supposed to be here to do this for you. Mm -hmm. Right? That seems really skeezy. I'm not, like, gentlemen, I, I understand both of you guys have a job and that's what you're doing here today. Yeah, of course. But at the, at the end of the day, you no, have like to look at it like somebody's fucking somebody. But uh, yeah, at the same time, like I said, I don't know if Ontario Safety Standards is doing that. Yeah. They could have been. Uh -huh. but I don't believe that's what we're a part of. But at the same time, like, we're just trying to book appointments, man. We're not trying to sign anything. Exactly. Gotcha. That's, that's what we're just trying to I get you. Do. Yeah. Just, but I know they used to do door to door sales, which is illegal, which is why that's the legislation I'm saying, which we don't sell anything door to door yeah. at all. We book appointments. Uh, well, to make sure you have high yeah, efficiency okay. product, and then you, if you do actually have high efficiency products, you will get that update. I, I that think I think you got you guys. So for your own sake, yes. If you did look at the legislation, you know that you're individually responsible as well, right? Yeah, for the ticket and stuff. Like right, that, 100%, and it's absolutely. and it's a friggin' expensive yeah, oh yeah, ticket. Sure. I, that's why I always watch what I say. There's no, some I understand. Who make but, stuff up, but, but you're 100 percent right. But I can't say. If I were you, I would make 100 percent sure that setting up an appointment yes. for a sales call doesn't constitute the same thing okay. check not, it out for because sure. because the, uh, your managers yes. do not give a shit about you mm -hmm. no you're right right you're right and if you if one of you guys got screwed you think any of the other guys would know about it no not a chance no exactly i, I definitely know. understand what you're saying i know ontario safety standards used to go to door to door uh, trying to push themselves in and stuff like that they definitely switched their ways and now it's Canadian safety standards. We book appointments, so it's not like uh, we're trying to push ourselves into anybody's houses. You can definitely cancel an appointment. Okay. Uh, even when the guy comes by, and if you don't like what he's saying, you can tell him to leave as quick as possible. No, I get you. I don't want to take up, <laughs> and I don't want to take up your time either. But I'm just trying to talk to you. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? You can I understand get, what you you're saying. Ten grand is not is not no, no, small amount of money. I know. I've, I've, I have applications everywhere. It's okay. Like, well, gentlemen, right, you, you guys stay safe. Yeah, man. For sure. You Sorry to bother you. Yeah. yeah. Have a good one. Have yourself a good day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one. It's Ontario Age Park and Water. Okay. What is it? Take a picture, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, just gonna check on the main line where the water comes into the house. Okay. Because today and tomorrow they are putting the filters in. Okay. My job is to make sure it's safe. So you are from Ontario government? No, absolutely not. Okay. It's Ontario Age Vac and Water Company. Okay. We're doing this to all the homes in the So area. you are a private company? Absolutely, yes. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We do a check to make sure the filter can fit. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm not in a need of a water filtration system, mm -hmm. so I guess you have to go on to another place. Take care, man. Have a nice day. Okay. Take care. Bye. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Hey, what's going on this side? Dude? I'm good, buddy. What's up? Good to hear. What's going on? What's your name, sir? Arvin. Arvin? Yes. Okay, nice to meet you, sir. My name is Rami. Yep. And uh, the reason I'm here today is, uh, you know, we're doing assessments yep. of people's properties. You know, yep. we're trying to help homeowners they, to go green. Yep. So, you know, as I can see, some of your neighbors, especially the one right next to you, they have like old AC and yep. old furnaces and so on. Yep. My job, sir, is to do like an assessment and yep. just to, uh, you know, inform the homeowners yep. on what they need to do. Okay. So what I usually start off doing is by checking out the main water lines, my friend. Okay. And uh, this is just in the basement. Yeah. And uh, 
This is what I do. This is usually the point where you let me in. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, I don't like what exactly like you do. Like what you uh, specifically do. I assess the equipment. So yeah. you know, if I. It's, so it's are you from the city that you are doing this? No, no, no. Sir. You're not from the city. No. Oh, okay. My friend, anybody? Yeah. Until each back. Okay. Anybody that says they're with Gas Enbridge? Yeah. Gas Enbridge, they never come to check the equipment. Okay. They only come for to check uh, you know the gas meter. Yep. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the government they'll never come to your house. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are just checking. That's it. Yeah. Okay. You are not selling anything. My friend, you guys are the homeowners, you don't have to buy nothing. Yeah. Sir, you understand that? Okay. You make the decisions, you guys are the homeowners. Okay. So, when you check my pa water line, whatever, mm -hmm. what are you going to say? Like, right now, the city did the water line for me. So, mm -hmm. do you? are you thinking you're going to find something defective or something wrong with that? My friend, this is what I do. I show you. Yeah. You guys make the decisions. No, I'm asking you, are you selling anything besides just checking? My friend, all I could do is recommend. Okay. That, and you guys make the decision, you know. You don't okay. Are you going to recommend a filter for water uh, softener? No, not Nothing. a softener. Not softener. Not That's a filter. It. No. Okay. So what? what is the purpose of checking my meter from a private company? What? Sir, you know. Yes. A lot of homeowners. Yeah. Have you, you know where this is, right? Yep. You, have you ever turned it on or off before? Yep, I did. That's good. A lot of homeowners, my friend, they don't know where it is, first of all. Okay. And they never touched it. Okay. And there's calcium buildup all over the knob and everything. Has not so been. you are saying the city water line will build up calcium? My friend, I'm talking about the knob. Okay, knob. That's build, where the build, calcium build up. Build up. Calcium? Yeah, and if you never turn it off, boss, yes. you know, that's where the sediment... You know, I have only turned it off in the last 15 years, mm -hmm. last six last month or so because the city did the under the the new line oh yeah but i never did it and there was no calcium yeah my friend they usually would be oh okay okay you know you ever see like the white build up yep so you are trying to get into my house now to check it not just this sir like i said uh we're trying to help homeowners go green well what is the green about this what 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 are you going to do the green about this sir, let me tell tell me tell me the I eight pack need... equipment yeah you know the furnace yeah this current condition that's in. Yeah. You know, also the AC. Yeah. I checked that as well. Yeah. Did and you you went to the, my property line to check my AC? My friend, where can I see your AC? Okay, so how do you know like you checked the AC? What you just told me you checked the AC. I didn't say I checked. Okay. I, I said to check. Okay. Your check. neighbor's right there. I can see because it's on the front. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yours I didn't see. Okay. And I also check out the people's bills. Mm. You know, your gas Enbridge and your yeah, Toronto yeah. Hydro bills. Oh, you are also going to check my bills too? Wow. wow. Okay, that is... That you is guys like get the <laughs> VIP treatment. <laughs> VIP treatment. Sir. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay, so you are not selling anything. You are just checking my water line and going to recommend something to do. And Not just the water line, sir. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. I, have, I just had to hear this story. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, like I said, I'm here to check. I make recommendations, you know, yep. you guys are the ones who make the decisions yes. if you want I know, I know, I know. Not, you know. I definitely, like if you are not selling anything, I'm not going to allow you in. So, you guys are the homeowners, you don't have to buy nothing. Okay, you make, are you selling or not? I make recommendations. Oh, you re okay, is that your company sell those equipment, whatever you are recommending? Through third parties. Okay, so not your company doesn't even sell anything. Oh, you just uh, like a volunteer for that company doing this uh, voluntarily? Friend, <laughs> you want to I make the uh, world better place? <laughs> I went to school for this stuff, my friend. I took, I went to Humber College. Okay. And I took sustainable energy yeah. and building technology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great. But you are not selling anything. I, that's what I want. You don't have to buy nothing. That's what it comes down to. You oh, make okay. the decision. Okay. You know? Go you ahead. made your father mad, man. He's going to go for a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, the of course. I mean, do that and there's a reason why people have these signs right so for example if i had a crying baby inside right now because you guys just knock on the doorbell and the dog is going crazy and i haven't slept in a very long time and someone has that sign and then you come you knock on my door then you see that sign and you pretend like you're not soliciting which is really bad on top of that right and then you do all this pretending what you're you're checking my connection with spectrum and then you're saying frontier is like spectrum but that i should switch to frontier 
that is really bad and slimy, you guys. That is really bad. And yeah, I'm going to record this, and this is probably going on YouTube. And your employer, too. This is not okay. You can't go around the neighborhood. Like, I know you're trying to make money and do a job, and you're probably commissioned. You're on a draw, whatever. I get that. But people have these signs for a reason, right? So I'm going to tell you right now, across the street to the right, they got people, like, in-home convalescent. Mm -hmm. If you go and knock on their door, they're going to have to do a whole bunch of things, okay, for mm -hmm. the caretaker to drop everything she's doing and come and say hi to you trying to sell her something. Mm -hmm. So if she has a sign and you still do this, you're filthy human beings, mm -hmm. just like you did here. And don't pretend you didn't see that. I mean, come on. It's, it's like, right, you can't miss that without ringing the bell. Like... <laughs> So, well, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I'm are, so sorry are you though? Are you gonna do this to someone else? Uh, I'm so sorry for that. You're probably gonna do this to someone else, though, right? No, honestly, we didn't even see the sign. Yeah, but honestly, like it wasn't right it's here, but right. that's why they're so sorry. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, so, sorry. Yeah, so, so sorry. sorry. I mean, it's so sorry. Why. And but okay, so even if you didn't see the sign, so you were still going in and asking me about Spectrum, and mm -hmm. you're doing cert. What is that? Mm -hmm. Is that a service list that you said you had for Spectrum? Uh it's like the least it's not a, it's a database. sales list it's it's a list of people and their names where they live mm -hmm. that's probably bought from spectrum which sucks for the privacy policy that we all sign right but that's what you're doing and it's disgusting it is really bad like i'm not a 70 year old 80 year old person who's having a difficult time processing things i know these sales tactics and it's really not good okay so i gotta go back inside now so you guys keep being disruptive. Yes, sir. You have a wonderful day. Have a good day. You sir. too. Bye bye. Are you serious? I'm serious. You came to my door and you're you're asking me to do stuff, right. so well, I want to know. Do you want um your check? If you don't want your check, you just let me know. What is the check about? I don't know what this is. I explained to you that the check is for everybody that's using green energy, okay? Okay. Everybody using green energy. Okay. Green energy is renewable energy, okay? From the wind, the um. Water, Are you trying to get me to sign up for something? I'm trying to sign up for nothing. I'm here to make sure. Do I need to sign a paper? You don't have to sign no papers, ma'am. All right. What I'm Do I need to give you personal information? Miss. All right. Listen. Just. Is there for, a piece right? of paper I can take with me? Yes, you have, you have this piece of paper right here. This is your consumer bill of rights, all right? Okay. That's really funny. I can only give that to you if you want your check and make the third, per, third party verification for another note that this is your apartment, this is your bill, that you pay your gas and your electric, and that this is where the check is coming from, okay? Okay. All right. I'm, 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 I, don't, I don't know if you want your check or not. I, don't, I, I feel yeah. like you might be shady or that this is a marketing okay, ploy to get me to sign up for something okay, because um, I'm not really getting a 100% straight answer. Okay, um, I'm giving you the straight answer if you listen to what I'm saying, everything you're asking, okay? Like I told you, all right, this is for the green energy, all right? Everybody's using green energy, okay? And um, it's through what company? This is through IDT, all right? We're the number one suppliers for Con Edison. We're not Con Edison. We give them their energy and they give it to you. So, you know what I'm saying? It's our responsibility. Um, I guess you could say that you're our customer. So, how did you know that I was a Con Edison customer? Everybody around here pays Con Edison. They sent us in the area, okay. all right, because we've been getting complaints that um, people have not been receiving their rebate checks. So, mm -hmm. they sent us around to um, go to door to door, make sure everybody, you know, so everything is okay with their bill, all right, because that's, I right, put it like this, right? On the back of your bill, there's a box that lets me know that you were supposed to get your um, rebate check, okay? This box right here, okay, you can videotape that, all right? That's an Esco's box. That lets you know that you're supposed to get your check, all right? Okay. Now, there's two reasons why you went ahead and got your check, all right? Either because right here, all right, is blank, which means that you don't know where your energy comes from, mm -hmm. all right? Or that you have the incorrect server from probably another area or another borough or whatever the case may be, all right? Okay. That's why I'm here, all right? The only thing I'll have to do is look at the back of your Con Edison bill, all right? To right. see that you have the box, all right? And make sure that you have the right server, okay? 
Um, if you do, you're eligible. We have to make a third um, party verification call to back to our headquarters, all right? Um, they'll be asking me your um, information for the bill and everything. Make sure that you live here, okay? Um, so that the um, check and everything can come back to you, okay? Um, I'm not trying to lie. If you don't want, you know what I'm saying, whatever, give me this, let me go now. Well, you know what I'm because I'd be able yeah, to I would rather them. deal directly through Con Ed uh, because Con Ed I know who they are, but you could be mm -hmm. some guy holding a bill that just came to my right, door. Um, but Con Edison can't help you with this because they're not the ones sending the checks we are. Um, this, and like I said before, but then I can go directly to your company and talk um, to them. That's why they send us around. You, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know, that's what, but the fact is, that's, that's just why we send us around, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. We're here to try to make fix whatever problems are right they send us out the office but see around. I could send myself around saying the same thing get people's um, personal information you have, um, you know, say papers from the commissioner service or whatever the case may be all right I, um, I could sure What can I do for you? How you doing, sir? Um, my name's Will. I'm with Midtown Home Improvements. We're getting a little feedback from some of the listeners. Uh, well, right now I'm taking a dump, man. I might be in here for a while. <laughs> you want me to wait around for you? Nope. All right, I'll leave a flyer for you. All right, just leave it on there. That's cool. All right, bud, thanks. Hi. How you doing today? Um, okay. okay. Is your mama down home? I am the wife at the house. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you look kind of young. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. In the nose ring. <clears throat> okay, my name is Jessica. I'm one of the manager here. I'm um, just coming doing a service um, check because you did this already. Y'all did it already so for your electricity check? and gas. Um, Y'all were supposed to actually receive your um, credit off of it. You didn't receive it, ma'am. That's why I'm here. No, I've had like a couple dozen of these scams. Tell your boss, no thanks. Oh, it's actually for the battery. Oh, the heated, the heated jacket. jacket. Yeah. Oh, those are cool. But I don't have the battery, so. Oh. I'm using it for my drink. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just kept Can I help you? Hello? Hi. For the pizza party? The what? We're here for the pizza party. Uh, pizza time. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, your neighbor says there was a pizza party here. I, again, I think you're trying to do a scam then because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding with you. I'm actually with AT&T and CenturyLink. Uh, my name's Donovan and this is Jesse. Uh, we're just doing a uh, quick follow-up on some re least, uh, recent line work that we've done in your neighborhood. And I was wondering if you were... Provider, but the one who takes care of the bills for the internet and TV? Um, well, I'm not going to have this discussion uh, with you, especially after the start of this discussion. So uh, if uh, we do not accept any solicitations, and you are being recorded right now, so thank you very much. What did you say? He doesn't want to have the discussion, especially after the start. In my pocket's deep. Trying to stack this cash. Till my bill fold won't fold twice as fat as Burke Kreischer's ass. You can't vocalize, you a local guy, you got vocal fry when you rap on a track like. Nah, nah.